Hey guys, this is Cameron here with a quick episode of Airgun Depots Under Pressure for you. Today we're going to be taking a little bit more of an in-depth look at the Air Venturi air compressor here. You guys have seen this already on our channel. Alex did a quick kind of infomercial overview on why these things are so awesome and why it's nice having a, a compressor in your home. I mean, the advantages are, are pretty obvious, but uh, we wanted to show you a little bit of how it works, how easy it is to use, how you're going to set it up when it shows up at your house, and those kind of things. So let's dive in here and take a little bit of a deeper look at the Air Venturi air compressor. So when your compressor arrives to you, it's gonna show up in a very, very sturdy box. And there's really not that much setup that you're gonna to need to do once you get the compressor. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and pull it out of the box and set it up on a level surface. Um, I did ours here just on our workbench, but you can set it up on the ground where you're gonna keep it um, or just any good you know, solid level surface so you don't have to worry about it moving around. Um, all you're gonna to need to do once you first get it is to pull uh, one panel off the side and one panel off the back so that you can go ahead and set it up and fill your compressor with oil as well as with water for the cooling system. I've got most of the screws here. I'm gonna leave just one screw in the panel so we can rotate this out of the way. On your oil pan, you'll notice that when you receive it, that there will be a plug here where the breather tube normally goes. It'll be a little red plastic plug. So what you'll do is you'll go ahead and grab your Allen key and make sure that this drain plug is uh, closed all the way. And then before you install your breather, you'll pour the oil directly into the pan uh, through this hole here on the top. So you'll fill the compressor with oil until it reaches the red mark on the uh, oil fill level indicator. You wanna go just above that red dot. So once you've got it filled out, you can go ahead and screw your breather back in and then your compressor's oiled up and ready to run. So to fill your compressor with water for the cooling system, you'll need to remove the five screws on the side panel so that you can access the water tank. Once you remove those five screws, the water tank is located directly on the back of the compressor. It's really easy to recognize because it's a giant white tank with a sticker on the side that says fill this tank with water. So you'll want to go ahead and pull the cap off and fill it up with water almost all the way. Uh, we recommend using distilled water just because it'll help keep uh, your compressor clean, your cooling system from building up with mineral deposits or hard water, that kind of thing. So once you've got that filled up, then you can go ahead and throw your side panels back on and you're ready to set up your compressor with your pressure gauge and do your first fill. Here's how to set your auto shut off. You'll want to go to the gauge on the top of your compressor and you'll notice that there's a little red dial on the top and if you turn that dial uh, just by itself, you'll notice that it just kind of free spins. But if you take that dial and you line it up with these two little arms on the gauge and then you press down, there's a small little plastic nub that will engage those two arms and it'll allow you to move those arms inside the gauge. And you'll notice that one of those arms has a little red uh, indicator on it and that indicator is to set your shutoff pressure. So we're gonna set this at 4,000 PSI. So you'll set your gauge right at the 4,000 there. Once you've got your pressure shutoff gauge set, you're ready to go ahead and plug in your compressor, and then we'll show you how to connect up your tank, and then go ahead and actually fill your air bottle. So I have here a brand new, straight out of the box Air Venturi fill tank. This is a 74 cubic foot tank. So it's one of the larger tanks that we carry here at Airgun Depot. The way we're gonna hook this up, this is actually a backfill system. So we are going to use some of the parts that came with our compressor to uh, set the hose up so that it will connect to our tank. So what we're gonna need to use is we're gonna use the male to male adapter. And this comes with your compressor. It'll be in your bag of extra parts. So you're gonna put one end into the foster connection on your compressor. And it's a little bit of a tight fit, which is good. That means that everything's gonna be solid in there. And then you're gonna go ahead and put the other end into the foster connection on your tank. You wanna make sure that both of these um, collars are fully set before you turn the compressor on. I just give them a good tug, make sure everything's set and ready to go. So we've got our fill line hooked up to our hose. We wanna make sure that our valve is open and that our bleed valve is closed. And then we're ready to go ahead and fire our compressor. All you're gonna do with that is you're gonna make sure that your cooling system goes on first. 
and then you're going to run your compressor power. So your cooling system is the big lighted button at the top of your uh, compressor, so you're going to go ahead and turn that on first. It'll take a little while to spin up. Uh, you can tell the cooling system's really quiet. You want to let this run for just a minute to get the water flowing, and then you can go ahead and fire up your compressor. You can tell it's not extremely loud compared to some of the other compressors on the market. It's definitely not quiet, but it's hearing safe. I can stand here next to this all day and it's not going to damage my hearing or anything like that. To fill a tank of this size up to a full 4,500 PSI needed to top this tank off, it's going to need to run for about a half hour. All right, so you can see our auto shutoff worked. Our cooling system is still gonna run even after the main motor shuts off, so you have to shut that off manually. Uh, and now I'll show you how to bleed the tank and go ahead and disconnect your line. So what you wanna do with these tanks, since it's a backfill, is you wanna go ahead and close the valve. And then you've got a bleed valve here on the front of your compressor that you're going to open. Now air and some oil will come out of there just because some moisture and oil will have collected in the system throughout the filling process. You'll actually see that. It'll probably blow out here onto the table. So you see a little bit of a moisture and uh, some oil came out there. Not a big deal, it happens with every compressor. You'll even see that with uh, our, like our Nardi compressor that we have here in the back at Airgun Depot. Easy way to take care of that is take a shop towel and just stick it under there. Uh, that way it blows right into the towel and you don't have to worry about cleaning it up later. So we've got our tank full now uh, and we're ready to go. So we can go ahead and disconnect our line and then we can use this to start filling up our air guns. Nice and easy guys, it's super quick to fill up your tanks with your air venturi compressor. Hope this video helped if you had any questions about how these things worked or the whole process. It's really that simple, there's not a lot to this thing. Uh, basically you fill it with oil, you fill it with water, make sure that you change out your fluids pretty regularly. And other than that, you're, you're good to go. These things are set up to last a long time. We've put them through their paces and done a lot of testing on them. And, they're really a good sturdy piece of equipment. So if you want to learn more about this compressor, you can click the link in the description below. It'll take you over to our product page for the compressor here. We've got a bunch of information there on, you know, weight, fill times, all that kind of stuff on the Air Venturi compressors. Again, guys, hope you like this quick look at uh, the Air Venturi compressor. It was a lot of fun making this video. And we hope to see you next time here on Airgun Depot's Under Pressure.